Good morning, everybody. Today, I woke up kind of early so I could come out here and draw these flowers in my backyard. These ones, and then the, all these are roses. It's another one. A tree. Lots of tall grass because nobody has cut them. And then here we have another flower. And then a buttload of flowers. So I'm going to be drawing these ones and painting them too. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. And then there's more in the front of my yard. So. I think right now I want to do some painting right away um, just because I feel like that's a much more loose and then hopefully I still have my palette in here because I don't remember taking that out So I do have my watercolors in here, nice. I'm gonna take that out, take this out. This one has a little bit of water in it, so I'll refill it here in a bit. Mm, and then I think that is all. I think that's all I need, yeah, that's all I need. This is what I was painting, these flowers right here. And I think it turned out really well. I like it. And I'm also taking care of my chickens as I am painting out here. Because there's cats around my neighborhood and then I want to eat the chickens. But I haven't seen many cats over here today, so it should be fine. So here's another sketchbook that I have and I haven't really been sketching in this one but I'm going to start sketching in it because I'm going to um, just leave it in my art bag and we're going to sketch today with color pencils. I just wanted to warm up with some watercolors um, and uh, we're gonna paint i mean not paint we're gonna be drawing this flower i think and then like this rose and then there's a few more out in the front of my yard that i wanted to draw so because i am sketching i'm not worried about details or anything like that Here I'm just getting an understanding of the big shapes. It's gonna be something like 
things. And then, I always like to start off with the middle. I just feel more comfortable that way. And then I'm just gonna leave spaces in between each petal. And now where there's light, I'm going to go in with um, lighter shade. I don't have like all the color pencils uh, to be able to like mix the colors that I see. But I have enough so I can slightly replicate what I'm looking at. And I don't really mind that I don't have all the colors because again, I'm just sketching. So I was trying to make it like realistic or do realism. I would be mixing in a bunch of colors, but I'm not trying to do that. Just sketching today. So. Over the summer, I would also like to do some plein air sketching. Um, I think I'm going hiking sometime this weekend, so I'm gonna take my sketchbook and then I paint. Um, for that, I'll take my etcher bag just because it is a lot easier to be walking around with the etcher sleep bag, and also things um, are easy to put away and get get when I need to. Um, nothing ever falls out of that bag, so. I'll be using that one. And then this one will just stay home. The bag that I'm using too will just stay home. Probably gonna put in some blues in here. I feel like that would look nice. Maybe I'll just do a purple today. We'll do a purple or violet. In these shadows. Especially in here. Another goal that I have for this summer is to fill up two sketchbooks, um, which is the Hanumulu Tone sketchbooks, the watercolor ones, and then the little tiny square one that is yellow that's in my etcher bag. I want to finish that sketchbook. And then, yeah, I think that's all. Just those two are the ones that I really want to finish. And then, while I'm in the studio, I'm just going to continue um, drawing with my other plain sketchbooks that I have there. I don't remember what brand they are from. I have a few that I just use in the studio and I don't take out. Right now the lighting has changed on me, so I can't really remember what was in the shadow and what was not. So I'm kind of just guessing here. Um,
And I think that is all that I'm going to do for the flower, and then I'm going to move on towards the leaves. I think she wants me to pet it. When they usually want me to pet them, they just like stand right next to me or they follow me. They are very cute. Hello, my chickens. Okay, there's a bee around me, so I probably won't be sketching here um, anymore. So there it is. I finished with this one. And then, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep sketching because it's getting really hot out here. So I think this one's it for the day. So something that you guys don't see me doing a lot is animating, but animating is actually what I want to do as a career, rather than just being an artist. Um, and right now, I am working on a little animation of a bunny in the rain, and this will be going on... Instagram, TikTok, and maybe YouTube shorts, but I'm not sure yet. But I can't wait for you guys to see it. It takes me such a long time making animations. Um, There's a whole process that I think about while I'm doing this. This one started off as just a little sketch in my sketchbook for an assignment where I was just drawing um I think it was supposed to be a character where we were supposed to draw a character well it could have been a free page but I just drew a bunny in the rain and kind of made a little story in my head about the bunny and now I'm bringing it to life I also really like to watch YouTube videos as I'm animating just because I like to hear um, somebody talking. Sometimes I'll listen to music, but not really because music always ends up hurting my head for some reason. I can't really listen to music for a long time. I think the most is like 30 minutes and then my head will start to hurt. So I usually just watch YouTube videos of artists. Sometimes I will watch, I mean, listen to podcasts. Um, I really love just watching vlogs and listening to people talk about their art. So I subscribe to a lot of art channels. Um, I'm not the fastest as at animating yet, uh, but I have been working on that. I'm trying to be quicker. Hopefully this summer I get a chance to do all the things that I want to do and accomplish all the goals that I want to accomplish for my art. This animation will be um, done in twos and it's going to be a really simple animation with After Effects. Uh, so that means I'll be doing the rain in After Effects and then the character I'm here or who knows I might just Leave the rain here on Adobe Animate. But... Then I'm coloring here on Adobe Animate as well. So it is currently nighttime. It's been a while since I have 
updated you guys on the animation but i worked on it for another two days and i had finished coloring it today um i thought it'd be done way sooner but um i had to do some stuff so i wasn't able to finish everything when i wanted to i wanted to finish this everything yesterday but today is when I will be finishing it off and then also need to add music for it um, I probably won't actually add music until I know I'm thinking either Sunday or Saturday but I'll be posting it on Instagram um, tomorrow which is Friday and then I'll just use music from there um, I think when it comes to animation like looking for sound or like music for free is like something that's hard especially when there's like a specific sound that you want to put on there a specific music because there's like copyright issues um, and that's why I want to learn how to um, make sound and then also make music just so I could add it to my animations so right now I just finished up um, drawing the rain and there's a few dots over here on the side that just pop up because I'm like constantly tapping on the on the walk up but here's the animation um, you guys can see it and then I'll post the final animation here on youtube with sound it's very short it's only six seconds long it's not very long but it took me quite a bit of time making it um and that's just because of the walk cycle walk cycles take forever to animate I don't know if you guys have ever seen like cats walk or like dogs walk. Um, but they have their little feet just like this. That's kind of how I wanted to animate the walk. Um, but yeah, I need to remove these extra frames right here. I'm animating on Adobe Anime and Yeah, I'm animating on here because I've been using it a lot these past this past year. And I'll just be continuing to work on Adobe Animate until I get um another software so I can start animating. Um I'm thinking I'm gonna use either TV paint or I'm also thinking of getting um What's that software called? I keep forgetting the name of it. I know I just mentioned it mentioned it last time. Um, Clip Studio Paint. Um, Cause there's animation in Clip Studio Paint. So I'll be getting that. Um, and then after this, I'm just gonna start creating th thumbnails, storyboarding, um, my show. Yeah, so this is the animation. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys enjoy watching it once I'm done with it. Um, and adding music. My Cintiq is very dusty. So you guys, I got a bunny. I've always wanted a bunny ever since I was a little kid. And I have finally got one. I've done a lot of research and I'm talking really quietly because the bunny um, is still kind of scared. He's shaking a little bit. Uh, not as much as he was earlier, but for now he's going to be in this little box um, until I get everything set up. And this is what his, where he's going to be at. So 
I'm gonna throw out a few toys. He still can't have some of these things yet because he's not old enough, such as his treats. Um, so he can't have those. I probably won't be giving him these, um, even when he's older, just because I don't know. Maybe if I'm training him and then I'll give him those, but I'm gonna give him a few things that he can play with. Um, I'm gonna give him this for his. So you can buy it on. Just a little cardboard. And then I think those are all for all the toys that I'm gonna give him. Actually, I might give him this little heart. And I am getting another bunny, so I'm splitting up the toys. This I won't be giving him yet. Um, but I will give him this. So he has a few toys to play with. Um, he probably won't care for them right now because it's his first day. But he's so cute. I love him so much. His name is officially Blue. So because uh, the playpen has yet to arrive, I ordered it off Amazon. Um, he's gonna be in here with all these boxes surrounding him. Um, hopefully he does not get out. Um, I don't think he will. He's not very jumpy yet. Um, and he is pretty small, but I ordered a pretty tall playpen. That way when he's six months old, he still fits in it. And then once um, he gets neutered, he won't be in the playpen anymore. He'll just be free roaming fully. Um, I'll be a fully free roam rabbit. All right, now we're going to get him inside this little place. I don't want to scare him off, so I'm just going to... I don't, I don't want to grab him yet because um, I feel like that would be rude of me to do. <laughs> and here he is. I think he's probably going to go in his hiding house. Um, but we have his water here, his pellets, and his hay over there. And of course he went inside his little house. So for now he's going to be... For now, this will be his hidey house and just overall, just his place where he can rest. Um, he probably won't be sleeping in there though. He might want to sleep out here, who knows. Um, but yeah, I decided to get a big one that way he can grow into it. And then once he's a lot older, I'm going to get him a bit nicer things. Um, he was probably going to pee all over this, so that's why I got like the cheapest one possible. And then I I'm just reusing this carpet. Um, that way, you know, he's going to pee all over this for sure. Um, but that's okay. If this carpet was really cheap, it was from Ross. I made sure to get everything that was just not expensive at all. Because I know that it... As little baby bunnies, they pee all over the place. They chew on stuff. So I'm not getting him the nicest things right now. Until he gets older. And he had some spots on his back. that are a bit lighter color. Now that I've been in here for a little bit, I'm going to leave him alone. Well, he can explore all by himself and he's not scared. So it is a cloudy day, so it's pretty dark here in the studio. Um, yeah. So the lighting's not going to be that great. Um, I was hoping it would be sunny today but i already had to get this video out for you guys so i'm just gonna do deal with it and i quickly drew well not quickly but i sketched out um what i'm gonna be painting i didn't really have an idea of what i wanted to paint today um the length of the paper kind of just inspired me to do this sort of like a little scroll in the nighttime looking out at the stars and reaching out for them and then here's another little scroll i don't know if you guys can see oh here if i tilt it you guys can see it a scroll is down here and then over here there's like water and there's some trees and then the starry night um and yeah that's that's about it and let's get started
have an idea of what I want this painting to look like, but I don't know how well I am going to execute this. Hopefully it goes well. But if it doesn't, I guess that will be okay. So as I'm painting, my little bunny is right over there. He is just laying down on his mat. He really likes the grass mat. I don't know what is it called? The hay mat? Scratch mat? I don't know what it's called, but he really likes it. Like biting on it, laying on it, chewing on it. So it is currently 8 o'clock and there's my little buds eating. Um, I changed up his setup as you can see. I finally got this playpen up and then I also divided um, the space for the other bunny. So this is where the other bunny is going to go and then he's going to be in there. Um, the other bunny that I'm getting is a girl so that is why I'm separating them. Um, and then I will also be bonding them. Um, I'm going to give the girl a bit of time, uh, to adjust to her environment before I just, before, um, I start bonding them, but I will end up bonding them. And he's just right there. He's gotten used to his little area now. Um, he knows that it's his territory and he's doing Really good job uh, pooping in his litter box. And then over here we got stuff going on. I am making a piñata for my brother's um, little gathering, I guess, for his graduation. And yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm making a piñata out of these Amazon boxes. Over here, we got this little painting going on. Um, I was supposed to finish it today, which is Friday, and post a video today. But I was kind of just... I don't want to say I was procrastinating. I would say more like I'm kind of just thinking of what else I'm going to add. Because this is something very new to me. Working on black paper. And... I'm kind of just like, what should I do? What should we do? So, I like the sky over here. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So, we're making piñata. So, just recently, I went to go get another bunny. And that is because I wanted two bunnies. <gasps> there he is. Like, I was just going to show you guys and he popped out. Or she popped out. Because it's a girl. She's so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. Is she going to come out? I have no idea. Oh, she's scratching the buddy. Oh. Dude, but she's so cute. This is like the bunny that I've always wanted. Like ever since I, I was a kid. Like when I imagined a bunny, a rabbit, this is what I would have met. She's so cute. And she looks exactly like the my little character that I always do. Like the little bunny character that I do for my webcomic and... Also, um, YouTube too. She looks exactly like the little bunny character. Oh my gosh, she's so stinking cute. She's so perfect. The little buds. Look at him. It's the cutest thing ever. Oh my goodness. So here are the little buns. Turns out while I was gone, she escaped just to be with Blue. And that's just because they wanted companionship, which is a good thing. And they haven't been fighting. They're not territorial. They're not chasing around um, each other. So as you can see, the little buns are sharing food. They're sharing in the same litter box. 
Yeah, they're doing great together. I've been just standing here keeping an eye out for them. And then while I was gone, my mom was also keeping an eye out for them. She said that they were treating each other nicely. Um, so, and this is her first day here. She's very outgoing. Uh, Blue is just very shy and she's not shy. Like when she got here, she was a little bit timid for around like maybe like 15 minutes. And then afterwards, she just started looking around. So she's going to stay in here with him. This is a new setup that I have going on. I had to block off uh, these slits, these cardboard boxes. Um, and I just taped them all around. And then this is just what they're doing. One of them is just sitting down, cleaning themselves. And the other one is eating. Blue just got done cleaning himself. And he was basking in the sun for a little bit. And then just got up to go eat. Uh, they've been doing a pretty good job of peeing and pooping so there's little brocks especially peeing they have not peed anywhere on the carpet or anywhere on the floor um pooping they're still pooping kind of everywhere because they're still little um and they're not sprayed and neutered but yeah here they are together um uh, so they're only going to be together for at least four weeks and then i'm separating them again because I don't want them to have any babies. But yeah, they really like each other. Um, the female, she kind of just follows Blue around. Uh, I'm naming her Meadow. I was gonna name her Flower, but I decided to name her Meadow. I feel like that suits her best. And what else was it good to say? Hmm, is there anything else to update you guys on? Oh yeah, they like drinking a lot of water. They've been drinking so much water. They have two bowls, one over there, and then they have another one over here. Um, and yes, I think that's about it. But yeah, this is how they look like. They are absolutely the cutest little chickens. I've always wanted a lavender or pinton chicken and here they are i got two these are like the calmest chickens that i've ever had um they let me hold them pet them they don't cry a lot which is nice so here i am with my little buns we're just hanging out and then my little other bun is over there oh she got up Ooh. Yep, the other one's over there. He is currently eating. Yep. Yeah, she's so cute though. So her name is Meadow. Um, I was gonna call her a flower, but I was like, mm, let's do Meadow. I feel like that fits her better. But yeah, that's her name, Meadow. His name is still Blue. We're gonna keep it that way. He is officially the mascot of my studio. Well, they both are actually. But he's the face of it all. The little bunny is eating over there at the moment. And then this little bunny is just exploring his tongue. And right now I'm just gonna sit down here, hang out with them, and then I'll just be drawing them.
here are the pages that I filled up. I did this one. So this red one and this one and this one are of meadow. And then this one is of blue as well as these ones right here. These are blue right here. Um, blue and meadow look very different as blue is more of a false to Neverland Dwarf because his, um, his nose is a bit more like pointier, or I mean not his nose, but his like, snout is a more pointier and then meadows, um, is not as much since she is a pure Neverland Dwarf. But yeah, these are just pages that I finished for today. Um, they're not really doing much today, so I decided to sketch them. So he was laying down. Hello, it's voiceover Daisy here, and I'm currently on my way to pick up my sister. And with me, I brought my art supplies and my sketchbook. And here I am just drawing some trees. Basically, I'm just trying to practice to draw faster or sketch a lot quicker. You know, um, the eye-to-hand coordination. Try to be a little bit faster with that. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm working on right now. And I'll just leave you guys with some music.
After a while, I just stopped sketching because my mom was driving really fast that I could no longer sketch as quickly as she was driving. And that is all everyone, and I'll see you when I see you. Eat the welcome to the welcome.